All right. Um, you said, well, okay. Um, be, to start with, we're going to. I want to talk about a story I came across. I think I've heard about it before, but I just came across it like in recent times. I think somebody made an headline with it or something. I'm not sure. It's about Nedu, Nedu, Nedu's wife, Nedu ex-wife. She was saying something like, I didn't tell him, he, I didn't tell my husband the kids or one of his kids are his own. He assumed they were, or he was, or she was. I don't know which of the kids is not. So this may, this brings me to, I always tell people, me, I'm all about family, family, family. I love family. I love when family are together. I love when my family are close knitted. Because when family are close knitted, love's reign. Love reigns. Understanding reigns. Loyalty reigns. A lot of beautiful things reigns. But when family are scattered all over the place, then you find out that offspring from such association are not so fantastic. I am not saying those from the knitted family don't come out bad as well. But I want to say that they are, the probability of, of having good ones coming out from, um, or from close-knitted family are so super high. So that what brings me to the topic of today. We're talking about loyalty. Uh, we're talking about um, um, fidelity in marriage. My name is Shola. Um, today, I won't go into my panegyric or panegyric, whatever, whichever way you go, you see it. But when I finish, of course, I'm going back to you. You know, I will always go back to that. What is faithfulness in marriage? What is fidelity in marriage? What is infidelity in marriage? What is even marriage? Why, where do we even get married? I just find out that um, my mother always say one thing. Growing up, it's a, it's a Yoruba adage. I cannot, I, I wish I can interpret it, but I will try to interpret it in, in, so that everybody will understand. He said, she said, she always say, Oroko kumbe I don't know what that means, but in, it's just, uh, 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 it just um, summarizes the fact that you have seen the land, you, want, you have seen the ground, you have seen the land you want to farm on. So you know what fits it. You are the one that saw the land. You are the one that wants to farm on the land. You are the one that wants to have harvest on the land. So it is all about you in the first place. So when you, get, when you want to get married and you start dating a particular person, I mean, that is why there's room for dating, to know one another, to know each other very well. But once you now start, when you have dated, you have gotten married, and now here we are, telling your husband, telling your spouse, they are, the children you have are not his. He assumed they were. Are you mad? Are you are you high on drugs? Are you high on colors? Is something wrong with your head? Ah, we we are women. We are super duper beautiful people. Why would any woman in a sane mind tell the people it's under the guise of you want to make an excuse or you just want to talk or they should just in this case uh, Yoruba will say that give your you know what I mean? It's to bring Cain. Everybody, let's have a reign of Cain and beat the egg out of this idiot. If you cannot stay in marriage, just stay out of it and don't even get there, go there in the first place. Marriage is an institution created by God. There should be loyalty, fidelity in marriage. I wonder how you guys manage to stay in your, or your husband's home, to stay with your husband, to go in with your husband and still have the F1 tree. You, have the, 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 your, well, you must have liver gone. You must have a strong mind to go out of there and still go and sleep around. And as a married woman, they will be funny. They, they will not tell you, when you hear DNA, your heart, your mind, your life, we, we scatter into pieces. Why? You can actually stay unmarried if you, if you know that you don't believe in that institution. Because you cannot tell me you believe in the institution of marriage. You cannot tell me you took time to send out invitation, I show it be everything. You get married and you're now telling me, you're telling the people that your husband only assumed the children were his. Are you mad? What is he supposed to assume? Is he not married to you? Are you not married to him? So at what point did you think that marriage is not enough for you, that you have to go out? A lot of people just come up with one story or the other. Ah, if you see what my face, if you see what I have seen, if you see what I have gone through, what have you gone through? That you are the only one that have gone through it in this life. No other person. 
Marriage is a decision that should be honored. If you want to get married, don't look at the jamboree of the wedding. Look at the marriage itself. And if you are lucky enough to come from a broken home or you are lucky enough to be from a single parenthood, please examine, look, sit back, go for counseling, physical, spiritual, mental, to be sure that this is actually what you want. You can't want it tomorrow, today and you say tomorrow you don't want it. Sometimes, you know, there was a time I was asking my husband, I said, okay, how do you see me? We've been married for some time and um, I, I, I am not what I used to be. Yes, the fact that I, I, I wasn't, I, was, I, I don't used to be slim. I don't used to be small. I, growing up, I used to be bigger than my pair. I, I, was, what, I was what you call the popular horrible from day one. But now I've gone bigger and we're getting over. How do you see me? He said, he still sees the person he sees. And I thought, he now asked me, that how do you see me? And I found out that you are the same person I've been seeing. And it, you have not really changed. You are just the same person. You know when you say you're the same person I saw, I liked, I fell in love with, and I am got married to. You have not changed. You're just you. And he said, there, the same thing with me. You have not changed. You're still you. You're still beautiful in my face, in my eyes. You're still amazing in my eyes. You're still everything I want. So, nothing has changed. But some of you, see, if anything has changed, it's better you just own up, own up to it. Own up, stand up, let us discuss it. Even the Bible agreed that we can come. Let us reason together. Reason together with your spouse and leave it gently. Don't, don't, don't torture the other person all because you want to eat your cake and have it. What, 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 what are you saying from your mouth? That uh, he just assumed that the, the, the boy... That your husband just assumed that the child is his. Yes, you're married. It's your husband. He's not your boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend. He is your husband. So he should assume. He should stand the ground of assumption. He should stand the ground of confirmation that those children are 101% his. So at any point, if he's having feeling that he's not, they are not his, or you are coming with your full chest to tell us that he made an assumption, they should go and argue. I'm sorry to say. You are not fit to be called an honorable a woman, not even called an honorable. You are not fit to be called a woman. There is no point. People are having children out of wedlock. They are having children out of marriage. They are still growing and they are still there. If you don't want to stay out of it, every weekend, I want to get married. This is my invitation. Hey, in four weeks time, I'm getting married. The jamboree of wedding, we get so much your head. Somebody will tell me that I, I, I dated him for five years, but your marriage did not last five months. Ow, 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 what happened? Dating him. So why were you dating him? I don't even know where to start with. Why were you dating him? Why, why were you dating her? Is it not dating to get to know each other? Abiba Woni. Is it not dating to get to know each other? To get to know that, okay, yes, we cannot know each other 101%. But to an extent, you'll be able to. So this is the kind of person I am. Because I always tell you, I always known. And I've had severally that whatever you don't like when you're dating cannot change. So it's either you want to just like, I can live with it or I can't live with it. Because those things we amplify in marriage, they won't go away. They won't. Or you are the type that is getting married to him just because he has money in his hand at that time. He was okay with it. You think he had money, so it's fine. Girls, women, I want to talk to you now. Don't be a never sure. Don't be a never sure. Hey, be na, hey, be na, hey, be say, pa, yati jaurie. He's looking for means, ways, persons to come and remove the, 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 the poverty. To come and remove your, 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 your hunger. Nobody is the solution to your problem. No one is the solution to your problem. So let me tell you one very good truth. The problem we have when we're dating is that we don't look beyond the dating and the enjoyment. He took me out. He bought this for me. Oh, man, he has it. He gave me it. He, said, he credited my account. That is all that you guys are looking for. That is why you get it wrong so much. You don't look at the essence of the man you're getting married to. That is why you dated for five years and you cannot stay married for five months. You don't look at the right thing, but you look at the wrong things. In that too far, you don't know you're even looking at the wrong thing. You are legalizing. You are making the wrong thing to be legit. So much that you are lying to yourself. Ah-ah. Uh -uh. Yoruba says, 
Meaning that two persons cannot be lied to. If you that you are lying, if you that they are lying to doesn't know. You that you are lying, you know that you are lying. That's why Yoruba say two persons, two scary cannot jam or cannot come across lies. So if you that you are, really, you, are, you are listening to me does not know I'm lying, me that I'm telling you, I know that I'm lying. So either way, we also basically must be wiser than the other in a particular case. What you look out for is not what you are, you are supposed to look out for. What you are supposed to look out for, you have known like whatever. You come with whatever attitude into marriage. Do you know marriage is forever? Do you know that you can't just say you want to go out of it? Except now, yes, people can walk out of it. But once you get married to someone, do you know that it goes, once you start going, you come together and you start having children, you know that marriage is go, it has gone beyond you. You are now breeding other generation that your, your life decisions will impact on them. Do you know? I bet you don't know. 